Today I'm gonna to be going through and assembling this Lego set. This one is gonna be with the Spider-Man, his car, and then Doc Op Ock as well. This is gonna be 48 pieces, so I'll give you the exact time that it takes me to assemble it as well. So let's go ahead and get into the assembly process. So this is everything that's gonna come inside the box. Of course, you get the instructions. They're gonna give you all the step-by-step -step instructions, which I'll include in this video, each step along the way of building out these different uh, Lego pieces here. And then I'll also, of course, give you the time of how long that takes, as I said. But it's just gonna come with the two big pieces for the car, and the rest is just gonna be, the small pieces are gonna be inside this little bag. So let's get to the assembly process. Now, there are gonna be a good amount of little tiny pieces inside this set. So would I would recommend doing this on something that's gonna be flat. So either a floor or a table or something like that, where it's gonna be uh, relatively flat. You don't have to worry about losing like these little tiny pieces if you have how high pile carpeting, that sort of a thing. So just something to keep in mind. First thing that you're going to do in regards to assembly is you're going to assemble the Spider-Man. So this is what Spider-Man is gonna look like. The net does already come pre-assembled. The next thing we're going to be assembling is Doc Ock. Once you have the Doc Ock character assembled, the next thing you're going to do is assemble the arms on the back of the um, suit here. Now that Doc Ock is fully assembled, the next thing we're going to be working on is Spider-Man's car. Now that Spider-Man's car is assembled, the next thing we're going to be working on is the little light pole. So assembly is complete. Overall, it only took about five minutes to get everything put together. Assembly is relatively easy on this set, just a few small pieces. The car um, is really easy. And then I love how the, all of the instructions are going to step-by-step -step give you which pieces you need. So it'll show in the different hands which pieces you need for that step. So I really do like how they do that. So you can see here, obviously you're gonna need this base, then gonna need that stand, and then gonna need that light for this step. So I really do like how it shows you that exactly what you need, rather than just showing you a picture of the car and hoping you can figure out where that goes. It shows you exactly which piece is needed for that step. So super happy with the assembly and the instructions are relatively easy to follow as well.